everyone, so it is Monday night and my first day of grad school is tomorrow. So I am picking out my outfit and getting my bag ready, doing a little bit of meal prep and all that stuff to make sure that this week goes as smooth as possible because otherwise I have no idea what to expect. My schedule is different every single day and um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but I'll try to record some of it and uh, show you guys what it's like. this is how it works and it's very confusing <laughs> but so I'm enrolled in seven studios and then each studio has like two or three or four modules within it I think it's usually three and um, then each module the module is like a subtopic of the main like studio topic and then um, each module has different sessions in it and the sessions are like the individual like classes or lectures so um, there is a humongous list of, uh, of like readings on courseworks formerly known as web courses and um, so I was downloading a bunch of those last night and I have a very complicated file system now for all the like um, what are they called? I just I just said this and now I forgot already. For all the studios and modules and then sessions in those. And I tried to date them too so I wouldn't get confused because at first I was just doing the session number but then it makes it feel like um, there's they're on different days and they're not necessarily. So like today I have three sessions in the foundation studio but each one was from a different module. So, um, yeah, it, you can see how it can get confusing quickly. <laughs> um, so, the first, um, the first session that I went to today was history, um, and the, t the teacher who teaches that one is also like the studio leader, um, studio boss, I don't, I don't know what he's called, what his official title is, but he runs the, the studio itself. And so he told us a little bit about um, like how the grading works and stuff like that. So it's like pretty standard stuff still, like nothing like weird. It's just like a paper and like some discussions and uh, a sh I think it's short response, um, final exam. But, and I think that from what I saw in the syllabi that uh, the majority of the classes are like that. But um, yeah, so he was a really good lecturer um, the majority of like what was actually on his slides were just pictures like from throughout history and so there was like political cartoons and like paintings and uh, like all kinds of stuff that he had and um, so uh, my first section was at 10 this morning so luckily it wasn't too early and then I walked over to um, with this little area that has a really really pretty view of like the bridge and the river um, so it was really cool to eat my lunch over there. I had plenty of time. Oh my gosh. I was like, when does class start again? Like I was waiting <laughs> for class to start again because um, it was like a whole, like I think it was maybe an hour and a half. So it was like a whole class section time for lunch. 
Um, and then, so after lunch, we had the, um, the ethics section and ethics session, ethics module session one. <laughs> and um, so that professor was, was very funny. And he also um, emphasized the answering a question with a question thing. And he told us uh, that there was an old Jewish joke that um, someone asked a Jewish man, why, did, why do you always answer questions with more questions? And the Jewish man said, how else are you going to answer a question? <laughs> and so I think that's kind of like how he envisions um, like our discussions and like things like that going. Like that's kind of like what they're hoping for is that you're, um, you're like thirsty for more knowledge. Like you're like asking questions and trying to learn more um, and not necessarily concerned with like memorizing things that happened in history or like things like that, which is a welcome change in scenery from UCF, for sure. I was happy to find out that they didn't, at least not in these sessions today, they didn't ask you, like, like they didn't ask the class specific questions about the readings from the night before, which was good because I didn't do my readings yet. Um, but I did download all of them not all of them, but a lot of them, um, I did I did download them and uh, put them in nice organized pretty folders in, in my Dropbox. So, you know, they're there. I'm gonna read them, just I did last night. So, but it wasn't the end of the world. They didn't even, they didn't even talk about it. I think in the first session, the readings were mentioned once. It's just a lot, like there's like it, at least two readings for each module, each session. So, it's really true what they say about how grad school really just teaches you to speed read because <laughs> there's just no way that you could actually like read through all that stuff. I think just kind of like speed reading, like skimming through and making sure that you're highlighting like important points and things like that is the only thing you can do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so overall it was um, a pretty good first day of classes. And I, we were done a little bit early, so I think I got out a little bit before four. And then I came home. But yeah, so um, I don't remember what sessions I have tomorrow because it's just so weird and so hard to get used to. Because, I mean, I'm used to college classes that are like, you go at the same time on Monday and Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays for that class but it's just random I mean it's I get it, it's probably not random to them but to me random <laughs> arrangements of class throughout the week so like today we had three sessions of foundations and then uh, other days we'll have a mixture of different studios and uh, some of the studios don't even start until like next week or a few weeks later and uh, some of them will end in like October and some of them go all the way to December. And I don't know if the ones that end in October, if you take like the final then or if you take it in December, I guess I'll find out all in good time. But um, yeah, it's just, there's no way that you could manage the schedule, the class schedule without sinking it into your bone. <laughs> So I am leaving right now for my second day of classes and today is kind of a short day. So I only have the one class in the morning and then there's a panel for them to uh, introduce us to the core and how exactly all the studios work so hopefully that'll help. <laughs> So today is Thursday, the week is almost done. I think I have three classes today and um, an expo with all of the student groups. So it is going to be a jam-packed day. Let's see how it goes.
don't ask me why I'm awake at 4.30 in the morning because my sleep schedule has gone to crap. But, oh my gosh, look at my to-do list for the next couple of months. It's absolutely insane. Just insane. Okay, so TGIF because it is Friday and I am leaving for class nice and early. It is going to be a very long day. We start class at 8.30 in the morning and then we also have a welcome event cruise tonight. So, a lot going on. So, I have almost a three hour break in between my two lectures this morning and my discussion this afternoon. So, I'm going home real quick and then I'm heading back to campus later. So, I am ready for the cruise. And now I'm gonna go take the train to my friend from school's apartment and then we're gonna take a lift down to the pier. <laughs> my first week of school at Columbia University. So as you saw, it was very crazy and there are a lot of readings and a lot of classes and the schedule is very hectic and we have like a Russian nesting doll of learning with the studios and the modules and the sessions. So with all of that going on, by the time you're watching this, it will have been two weeks since I started school. So my second week, was pretty much very similar to the first week. <laughs> but I have learned this week that I'm not alone in being behind on the readings. I think pretty much everyone is behind on the readings. And uh, our discussion groups are really great and I'm really just kind of trying to find a rhythm with things. I am about to be leaving for Detroit for the interim meeting for the American Medical Women's Association, which is a women in medicine organization that I'm a part of and very, very passionate about. So if you guys are interested in getting involved in an organization like that or have questions about AMWA specifically, make sure to leave me a comment down below. I'm happy to answer all of your questions about that. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys in about a week. Um, we'll see if I have time to make another video, but I was thinking maybe like a what's in my back to school bag. So give this video a thumbs up if you are into that and want to see that video. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that when I upload, you can follow me on this journey through my new life in New York and my new life as a grad student at Columbia. Thanks for watching. Bye.